Hello guys, in this video I'm going to talk to talk about the HTTP client in C-Sharp. So HTTP client is a class in C-Sharp which is used for sending uh, requests to REST API. So we have few most popular types of REST API requests which are GET, POST, PATCH and DELETE. So we use the GET request to retrieve data from the external service. So if we, for example, have book API for some database of books, we may use the GET request to retrieve data for a given book with a given identifier, for example, identifier one. So we would send a GET, re get request with identifier one, and we would re retrieve the data for this book containing fields like um, name, offer, and so on. So the second type of requests uh, is a POST request, which is used to add data to the external service. So if we would like to add another book to the book database, we would use the POST request to post the book. And inside of this POST, re post request, we would um, include the JSON representation of the book containing the uh, all the f fields which are necessary, like name, offer, and so on. Patch request is used to modify an entity in the REST API. So we might uh, there might be a situation where we would like to change the name of the book or the uh, author name. So we would send the patch, re patch request containing the uh, modified book containing all the fields that the book has. And uh, the, the fourth one, the fourth type is the delete request, which is used to delete an entity in REST API. So we might send um, delete request containing identifier one, and this book with the ID one would be removed from the external API um, database. So HTTP client allows us to very conveniently send these requests. Uh, so here I have the private static read-only HTTP client object named underscore client and initialized here. What we need to remember is that the HTTP client should be initialized only once in our application. So right here I have a private static um, field which I know that will be initialized only once but if you use for example dependency injection you would uh, use HTTP client with singleton type of uh, initialization so that you are sure that it's initialized only once because you don't have to create new instance of HTTP client per uh, each of, of your requests you can use one client and send multiple requests very different requests using this object. So while experimenting with HTTP client, it's always uh, smart to use the try catch uh, block because there might be some errors inside and we don't want to crash the application. So right here I have the try catch um, block, uh, which will catch any HTTP request exception and um, output this uh, error into the console window. So inside of the try block, we have the URL, which I chose um, wikipedia.org as an example. We have the content because uh, some of the requests require uh, to, to a content to, to, to send. Um, it's, a, it's a body of the request actually. So I use the new string content constructor because this is the class that is, uh, that is uh, required by the HTTP client. And I am just uh, typing in uh, brackets which represent an empty object. This content will be used uh, in post and patch because they require the body. The rest of the requests, uh, and I mean the get and delete, don't require the body. It's just the URL which is required and which usually will uh, contain um, the identifier that we are um, referring to. So. Um, in the most common scenario, your URL would look like wikipedia.org, for example, slash API, just to refer to the API, and then, for example, book, and then, next, and, and then one. 
to so it will re rep represent an URL which is used to um, process requests for books and for the book for the given book with identifier one. Um, so um, right here you see the examples. So I can use the uh, um, I initialize the get response with the await underscore client. So I am awaiting the uh, get string async result from the underscore client object and passing in the URL as an argument. So as you can see, this is uh, this method can be invoked uh, asynchronously. So uh, it will not block the thread. Uh, we, we have to remember to mark the main method as async because this is required to use the await keyword. And uh, that's how simple I can uh, send a GET request. It's very similar for the rest. So there is POST async where I am passing in another argument which is the content of the body of the request which usually would contain the uh, JSON representation of the book in this example. Um, it's very similar for the patch and the delete is similar to the get. I'm just passing in the URL because the body is not required. So then I'm using the console write line to output these responses which do not make much sense because it is not a real API but this is what you would uh, do to output these results into the console window and I'm using the console read line to stop the console window from automatically closing. So this is the quick introduction to HTTP client and REST API. I hope that you uh, understood the concept and I hope to see you soon in future videos.